Good afternoon, Gino. The Board of Supervisors today postponed voting on this proposal until two weeks from now. The Riverside County Animal Services Department says that this ordinance is very much needed in order to help reduce the amount of unwanted pit bulls in county facilities such as the one behind me. But this uh, idea of regulating the reproduction of pit bulls is receiving a lot of mixed reaction from the public. If I wouldn't have been able to raise her, maybe I wouldn't have been as comfortable with her. But, you know, they're the same breed as any other dog. Um, it's all how you raise them. Calvin Jones from Indio owns three-year-old Ezra, an American Pitbull Terrier. It's a breed that could soon be facing mandatory sterilization in the unincorporated areas of Riverside County. I don't think anything should be mandated as far as what you should be able to do with a breed because um, you can take that so many ways and, and do that with other breeds. Under the ordinance crafted by the Department of Animal Services, a person owning a pit bull or pit bull mix over the age of four months must have the animal spayed or neutered. There are several exceptions, including registered breeders and law enforcement who use pit bulls on the job. Many pit bull right. owners, As like Jones, course. aren't too happy with the proposal, saying the breed would become extinct. It'll pretty much kill the breed, I think, because people want puppies. People want to raise their dogs. According to the Department of Animal Services, 20% of the dogs impounded are pit bulls, and they account for 30% of the dogs euthanized. The department says this new law would solve this overpopulation problem, as well as make it safer for people out on the streets. But some dog owners say when pit bulls attack, it's the fault of their owners, not the breed itself. I've always raised her real well, and she's the nicest dog. Uh, she's the last dog I could ever imagine. You know, she's never even bitten me. This year, there have been at least four pit bull attacks in Riverside County, not to mention the two-year-old boy that was fatally attacked last night in Colton. Uh, public hearings on this proposal will be held on October 8th at the Riverside County Board of Supervisors meeting. More information on KMIR6.com. Live from Thousand Palms, I'm Jetzel Puente, back to you in the studio.